Hello again. So we know that a class and an object have method attributes. So in this video, we'll be looking at the different types of methods we can have in Python. We have the static method, the instance method, and the class method. So let's go ahead and create a simple example of the three method types. I'll be using the class pizza as an example. So we have a class pizza, which has a class variable total count. And we've defined the initializer here with the parameter ingredients. So it has an instance variable ingredients, which is a list, instance variable cooked, which is a boolean. And then we increment the total count every time we create pizza object. Let's start by creating an instance method. So we do that by doing def. Let's call this method cook. And because it's an instance method, we have to provide it a reference to this instance. So let's pass it the reference itself. Now we can use the instance method to retrieve and modify a particular object state. So let's say when we cook the pizza, so when we call this instance method, we want the objects cooked variable to become true. And we also want to print out what ingredients the pizza is being cooked with. So let's do cooking with ingredients and we'll pass in that instance's ingredients. Now let's create a class method. So to create a class method, we want to mark the method with a class method decorator. So what this decorator does is it passes the class reference to the function. So let's define this function. Let's call this function increment total. And the class method has a reference to the class. So we pass the class reference here. Now this means that this method only has access to the class attributes, such as the total count. So in this method, what we want to do is we'll access the class variable total count and we want to increment that by one. Now that we have the increment total function, we can replace this total count here with increment total. Now let's create the final method type, which is the static method type. And to create a static method, we mark the function with a static method decorator. So a static method doesn't have any references to the class or the instance. And that's what this decorator allows us to do. So let's create the function, let's say calculate area. So a static method is when we want a method inside a class that is logically related to the class, so like calculating the area of the pizza, but we don't necessarily need to interact with any specific instances because we'll be passing the radius into the function. So let's make this return pi times the radius to the power of two. Now pi is it defined anywhere here? So let's just go and import pi from the math module. So from math import pi. Let's go ahead and compare these methods. So first I'll create a pizza object p and I'll give it a list of ingredients. So cheese and tomato. Let's start by looking at the instance method cook. Let's print out the comparison of pizza.cook is the pizza instance.cook. And let's also print out each individual one. And let's give that a run. So you can see calling cook from the class scope and calling cook from an instance scope is different because we've got false here. And you can see that the pizza.cook function is unbound, whereas the p.cook function is bound. What that means is that instance method requires an instance. So if we do call it 
with the unbound function, we would have to pass in the instance. So we would have to do pizza dot cook and pass in an instance p as this function is unbound to an instance. Whereas if we do p dot cook, this function is bound to the instance p, so it doesn't need a reference here. So if we run that, you can see we can run an instance function both ways. Now the class method works a similar way, but the difference with the class method is that when we use class method, the scope of a class, we do not need to pass it any reference. So let's do increment total, and we don't need to pass it a reference to the class because it's that class itself. And let's do the same here. So here we don't need to pass a reference to the class either. And the reason for that is because the class of the object instance is implicitly passed as the first argument instead of self. So if we print the total count before and after and give that a run, you can see once it's created an instance, the, it's incremented it to one. And then when we increment using this, the class function increment total increments it to two. And then when we use the class function again, but this time through an instance of that class, it also increments it. Now let's look at the static method. So with the previous two methods, when we retrieve those functions, we get a partially applied function. We already implicitly pass in a class reference or an instance reference. But with static methods, there is no reference to either the class or the instance. So if we do a comparison between the pizza calculate area and the instance dot calculate area and give that a go, we'll see that they're actually exactly the same function when we make the call. So we can call the function through the class or through the instance. Let's give that a run. And you can see we get the area either way we use the function. So a quick summary, there's three types of methods. There's the instance method, a class method, and a static method. The instance method has a reference to the instance. So it's used to retrieve or modify the state of a particular instance of a class. A class method has an instance of a class and cannot modify or retrieve the instance state. And then we have the static method where we want a method inside a class that is logically related to the class, but it doesn't necessarily need to interact with a specific instance. So I hope that's cleared up the differences between the three types of methods. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.